Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I'm headed out to the boardwalk at the north end of Area 2 and onto the beach at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in beautiful North Naples, Florida. 80 degrees right now. On the buggy side, very muggy and buggy, buggy and muggy. Very humid out here. Highs today in the low 90s. Scattered afternoon rain. Typical summer forecast for southern Florida. A lot more sunlight than yesterday. Much brighter out today than yesterday. We had a long beach walk yesterday. Actually, a record-breaking beach walk yesterday. That was the longest beach walk I ever did a live feed of yesterday on Vanderbilt Beach. Two hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> We walked from Vanderbilt Beach all the way down to Clam Pass. It's quite a walk, quite a journey. I won't be doing that again soon. <laughs> we'll just take a little stroll along the beach here at Del Nor Wiggins this morning. There is a great blue heron. Out there on the beach, right about in the middle of the screen there, if you look really close. A great blue heron. We saw two of those yesterday. We saw two great blue herons to kind of together yesterday. Yesterday morning. It is beautiful though. Majestic birds, the great blue herons. Very majestic birds. Just kind of poised there, waiting for an unsuspecting fish to come by. Today is a very, very big day for our friend Kelly. Today she undergoes her surgery. She, I'm sure she is in surgery as we speak, having her brain tumor removed. That is going to be an eight to 12 hour procedure. Please, please, please keep Kelly in your thoughts and prayers today. Those of you that sent donations and bid on those lamps, thank you so much. Thank you so much to help Kelly out, to help offset some of those inc just huge, huge medical expenses. Thank you. If you still want to help out, you can still find a link to her PayPal account there in the description, in the text description. You look for the picture of those lanterns, the pirate lanterns, the sparkle and shine lanterns for Kelly. You can find a link to her PayPal account if you want to send a little something to help her out. 
I mean, her expenses are going to be huge, huge. This guy's just gonna slowly make his or her way. Guy, girl, whatever, it. <laughs> it's gonna make its way up the beach slowly here. Boy, there was quite a line of cars at the front gate this morning when I came in. Quite a line of cars. Lined up to the bridge. Waiting for those gates to open at eight o'clock. They opened them a few minutes, they opened them up a few minutes early today. Oh, there's a beautiful picture right there. There's an image, look at that. Look at that. The two fishermen. Two fishermen making their way up the beach. Boy, it is calm out here today. Love to see one of our dolphin buddies go by. hear a group of people coming up behind me. I hope they don't scare these birds away. I believe that's a, a heron also, the white one. I believe that's a great white heron. It's the great blue in the back and the white in the front. This guy's come and decided to do a U-turn. I was hoping they'd walk together and get out in the sun. Down the beach it goes. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. We do see some spectacular things here in the mornings. That's for sure. Good morning. Good morning. There's a swimmer out there. Yeah, I followed him all the way up the beach. The two of them, they were together. Oh, there's another one? The white one and the blue. Oh, okay. And they just they just split up. So yep. You don't realize how you don't realize how big they are until you get right up next to them and right. they stretch that neck out. <laughs> well, great great blue herons. Great blue heron. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if that was a heron or egret. I always, I forget how you tell the difference. <laughs> That is the great blue heron. And we do have several pairs of them here in North Naples. I've seen several pairs of them. He or she's gonna go up on the beach, let those people pass. And of course, down here, our little snowy egret. We see a lot of them catching their morning breakfast during our beach walks. We see a lot of these guys with their little yellow feet and yellow bands around their eyes. The little snowy egret running by me here. There's a lot of little fish in the water here. A lot of little fish. No shortage of food. I think he's being fussy now. Looking for just the right one. A little snowy egret. See if we find any new crawls on the beach here. Any crawl tracks from our loggerhead sea turtles coming ashore during the evening. I saw a nest 135 yesterday. Down to the south of us, nest 135. On the beach at Pelican Bay. Still don't know what they officially call that beach there. It's, look at this water. Look at the water. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice and clear. Look down there. Give you a look down. Beautiful. We look back up the beach. Beautiful, beautiful views. I'm going to snap off a quick photo. Keep your fingers crossed that we don't get lost here. Hang on a sec. All right. Lots of little tiny fish swimming around below me here as I'm walking along.
Oh, a school of snook right out here. Kind of swimming away from me, keeping their distance. There's looked like three or four of them. Three or four of them went darting out into deeper water. This water is just gorgeous. Gorgeous this morning. Pretty warm. I think it's up to about 84 degrees. Crazy warm. how flat it is out there. Did you see Ursula's photo there yesterday? She saw an alligator up by the front entrance. There was a gator up by the entrance to the park. You heard correct, an alligator near the entrance to the park. Just up by the main gate. There are alligators here. It's not a joke. You'll see the signs in the parking lot. Very rare to see them out here. Very rare to see them out here at the beach, along the beach. But they have been spotted. They're more back in the mangrove areas and the wetlands. Look at that water. Those colors are just gorgeous. Back when I was a kid, the alligators were endangered here in Florida. Now they're just so prolific. There's alligators everywhere. And yeah, any golfers watching, I'm sure you've seen an alligator or two at the golf course. They usually leave them alone up to about four feet. Once they get over four feet, when they remove them. Whoa, who did this come off of? Who did that come off of? You know what? That kind of has the coloring of the great blue heron. I don't know if that's a gull or a feather that just might have dropped off that great blue heron. Stick that in my pocket. Hopefully I won't lose it. might have just fallen off that great blue heron up ahead of me who just caught a nice size fish just caught a nice size fish up there just caught himself a nice little snack down the hatch <laughs> down the hatch it went got a couple he or she's got a couple loose feathers I bet this feather I picked up came out of that heron very cool
No signs of any dolphins breaching the surface here yet. Darn it. I'm having dolphin withdrawals. It's been a while since we've seen our dolphin friends here during one of my beach walks. I'm hoping to catch a glimpse of a couple of those big rays that people are telling me they've been seen swimming along the shoreline. I'd love to see them. I've seen them jumping out of the water, but I have not been able to get a shot of them. I mean, you got no idea where they're going to come leaping out of the water, where or when. But I'll tell you what, it is a magnificent sight if you do happen to catch it. Nope, didn't get. It was a miss. A miss, a miss, darn it. Definitely wants the bigger fish. It's looking for a bigger fish than those little snowy egrets eat. Because there's plenty of those little guys swimming around. They wouldn't even be a snack for that guy though. Come on, move up just a little bit, get out in the sunlight. Is it going to strike at something or not? When they crouch down like that, they're getting ready to strike. They'll get down low to the water. It is quite a morning here, quite a morning.
Time to snap off another photo. Bear with me. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to get around the heron here, see if it'll let me walk around it. Thought I saw a set of crawl tracks on the beach, but nope. Hey, you guys that have been giving me the stars during the live feeds, thank you so much for doing that. That was awesome. Get some wonderful, generous friends out there tagging along. Our beach family. Of course, those of you that are regular monthly supporters of Southwest Florida Television, my Southwest Florida Television Facebook page, thank you for being a supporter. I really appreciate that. Hopefully those numbers will increase here. And of course, those of you that send that little bit of extra to my PayPal account now and then, man, I don't know what to say. That is awesome. That is incredible. That is, that little extra money is what helps me make it through every month. I really appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you see and you're feeling generous, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. But mostly, thank you for your friendship. And that's first and foremost. Thank you so much. This great blue heron is just taking its time walking up the beach. Not in any hurry to really get away from me. That's kind of cool. getting pretty darn close to me here. Yeah, I'm watching you. You're watching me, I'm watching you. I'm gonna head back down the beach. You gonna go back? All right. I'm gonna go the other direction.
Roy's Beach up here. Area 4, Roy's Beach. Audrey's bench under the pine trees up there on the right. He had a kind of a long morning at the beach yesterday himself. I was surprised to see him when I got back from my beach walk. Oh, there's two snook out here in the water. I don't know if you can see them. There's one swimming. They can, they see you first walking along the beach before you see them. And then they just kind of move off into deeper water. One of our little white ibis friends here. Decide to move on, move along. I just can't get over how clear this water is. Look at that. Look at that water. Coming up onto the sandbar out here. The water's getting shallower. As we look back at area four. What a spectacular view of the north end of the park. Isn't that gorgeous? Kodak time. It's time for another Kodak moment. Hang tight. Those of you that have been following me for a while now, you know this is where I like to be, out in the water looking back at the beach. I like being on the beach looking out at the water, but just something about this view I like more. Just a, I like this perspective of the beach. There's it's, there's about a mile of shoreline here at Del Norwegens. I say shoreline because there's a few spots where there's really not much beach left. Up, up at the north end, up in Area 5, we've had a lot of erosion up there. Beautiful looking down to the south. Here's some paddle boarders. Hey, how's it going? They are moving along. They are moving along.
see if they turn around here. Yeah, well, they're gonna keep on going south. Thought they might spin around and pass by me here. <laughs> never, I've never been on a paddleboard. For those of you just tuning in, just tuning in, please. Today is a big day for our friend Kelly. Today she is undergoing surgery to have her a brain tumor removed. Please keep her in your prayers. She is, I'm sure, on in surgery as we speak, as I speak. Keep her in your thoughts and prayers today. This is a grueling eight to two. What do they say eight to 12 hour procedure? It's taking, it takes eight surgeons to perform the operation. Uh, prayers for Kelly. Absolutely gorgeous out here in the water. I believe the water is 84 degrees. I believe it's 84 degrees. Last time I checked online, that's what it said it was. Which was several days ago. <laughs> could be warmer, could be a little cooler. Who knows with the rain, could be cooling off. With the sun, it could be heating up. You never know. But it's warm. So beautiful standing out here in the water looking back. A lot different than yesterday morning, huh? Whole different view from yesterday. I see that great blue heron still down there on the beach, hasn't gotten scared away yet by anybody. That was fun watching that this morning. Those paddle boarders are way down at the end of the beach now, at the end of the park, the south end of the park. Still no dolphins. Hmm. Good morning.
little breeze kicking in feels good. Expecting today's high to get up in the low 90s. Hot and muggy, hot and muggy. Afternoon rains, scattered rain, typical, typical. This is the wake from a boat that passed by earlier out in the Gulf. Took a little while to get here. Look how clear that water is. Good morning. So have you found any more prehistoric shark's teeth? Uh, just some smaller ones. I think that one was a once in a lifetime deal. Oh, no, no, I won't oh you want to find another one? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> morning There's a mermaid on the beach. Roy would be so happy. There's a mermaid over here. She's swimming out into the water. Father and son heading out in a rubber raft there. That's kind of cool.
There goes the mermaid. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, my friend would love to see the mermaid. Oh, so you're from TV. I saw you the other day and I was like, why is it Well, I do a blog. I just walk oh. the beach and do a blog on okay. Facebook. Made me a little nervous when I saw you the other day. I'm like, who the hell? <laughs> but um, she's a... Does she do this professionally? Yes. For parties and things? Yeah. Uh, she is a... Give me a second. She's a special needs teacher. Oh, nice. Uh -oh. <laughs> She's a she's a special needs teacher and she focuses on like water therapy with autistic children. Oh, how sweet! So that girl that's out there is actually she has Asperger's. A student. Yeah. Wow. So she's very that is so cool. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. So if you're doing a vlog, you might want to talk to her. Yeah. I, thought I she's... forget her name now, but honestly. All right. Talk to her for like 20 minutes. Oh wow. <laughs> You've got an interesting story. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> We're gonna meet a real live mermaid, folks. Uh-oh, you took your tail off? <laughs> hey, I'm, hi, I'm Rob. I just kinda, I do a blog on my Facebook page here in the mornings. I just walk the beach and, um, well, your mermaid outfit caught my attention. I have a, we have an older gentleman friend that he always talks about wanting to see a mermaid out here, and he's not here today. <laughs> I, um, I am from New Hampshire. I moved down here in February. Uh huh. Um, single mom, 44, special education teacher. That's what I, School special education. Wow. Yeah, and um, my my family and friends back home call me Mermaid Whisperer. Mermaid Whisperer. Because I do put on the tail of my last session with kids in the water, and um, it's very therapeutic. Yeah. So, you know, when you can get a kid with school diagnosis and adult with Olivia, won't mind me sharing this. She's a high functioning adult with Asperger's. And um, we met through a mermaid group, Southwestern Florida. Mermaid. Southwest, uh, Southwestern, yeah. okay. And she happens to be in Naples, and there's a few of them around the area. So well, that is so neat. So, this is therapy. I mean, it's. Therapy. Now, is, does she have a mermaid tail on? Or she, she does. Does she? Show us your tail, man. She's got a tail on out there? She does. There. Oh wow! Yeah. Look at that! Wow! So what's another tail? Go down and do it again. That is awesome. Get mine on. <laughs> that is so cool. Um, but I just got my business cards because I'm starting a business called Simply Treading. Uh huh. And it's like the coaching piece, the mental health piece, but also bringing adults and children with and anxiety into the water and showing them that this is there. Well, that is so cool. That is so cool. So, absolutely. Are you here for the day? No, just for another 10 minutes or so. I'll just kind of walk up to the end, turn around, and go back. But So, what's the name of the business you're starting again? So, I'm just starting it. This is just came last week. And it's, it's called Simply Treading. Simply Treading. Simply Treading Life. That is so neat. On Facebook, I'm under Progress Notes. Say it again. I'm on Facebook as Progress Notes. Progress Notes yeah, on Facebook? Yeah. Okay. And here's on there. And this is our first meetup. This is the first time that... Oh, I'm nice. And I nice. Well, that is so neat. Isn't that great? It's... To see two beautiful mermaids on the beach in one day. That is awesome. An awesome, awesome goal. Thank you so much. <laughs> the painful part, squeezing into the mermaid costume. <laughs> so go on Facebook, look for progress in it. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, good point. Absolutely, being here, you do need to learn how to swim. So well, right now with COVID, I can't do classes. Gotcha. Too many kids, too many up close and personal. Right. But I, I am actually looking for classes. Okay. And, but for right now, they'll find you on Progress Notes on Facebook. Perfect, perfect. Well, 
Rob. Rob. Yep. I hope we uh, this again. Yeah. Uh, well, hopefully you'll be back here at Delnor Wiggins. This is my favorite in the morning. Is it? Perfect. The my, mine too, that's for sure. <laughs> well, let's see some tail splashes there. I will. <laughs> let's, let's see you swim out together with those tails up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> How sweet. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, would Roy be in heaven? That is so cool. Wow. <laughs> Wow, wow. <laughs> that is such an interesting story. Therapy. This is therapy. What a great, great way to reach out to younger people. Wow. Check her out. Denise, I believe she said her name was. Denise, check her out on Progress Notes on Facebook, Progress Notes, and learn more about her story and what she's trying to do here. <laughs> so cool. I'll see you on the way back. How long are you going to stay out? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, there you go, a couple hours. Mermaids have no time frame. There you go. <laughs> Not today. Oh, no curfew. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. That is really, really sweet. I have to look them up. I'm actually going to come back and get a little video of them and share it. Help, help her spread the word about her program. That is so cool. Give them a few minutes to alone as we walk up to Wiggins Pass. Look at that view. Another morning in paradise, folks. Another morning in paradise here at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Wow. You never know what we're gonna see on the beach here. You never know what, you never know who we're gonna meet. It's not just about the water and the wildlife and the fish. It's also about the people that come out here. We have met some very interesting people in the mornings.
Love seeing the kids out here with the parents, grandparents, and whatnot. Just enjoying the beach. I love it. I love seeing the young people out here enjoying the beach. Now this is the very north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park here. We are up at Wiggins Pass. On a beautiful, beautiful Monday morning. Gorgeous colors, the water, the sky. Absolutely beautiful out here. And we got to meet two mermaids this morning. How cool is that? Two mermaids. That was fun. How you doing today? No luck? Yeah. Look at those colors. We are so blessed to have this beauty so close. I am anyway. <laughs> And you get to share it through the power of the internet. Absolutely gorgeous. incredible absolutely incredible colors it's uh, time to snap another Kodak moment don't go anywhere hang tight look at the colors of that water <laughs> Wiggins Pass up in North Naples Absolutely beautiful. Just incredible, incredible, incredible colors. That is 
is beautiful. Well, let's head back down the beach. Boy, no problem seeing Fort Myers Beach today. No problems. All the way up to Cape Coral. <laughs> Absolutely crystal clear. Clear skies there and beautiful water. Just incredible. Good morning. Well, I'm gonna come back down to the trees here in area five and wrap up our live feed this morning. Then go have a chat with the mermaids and I'll share that video later today. Get their story. I know it was hard to hear when I was talking to them during the live feed. Again, I want to thank everyone for watching. Thank you guys for being a friend. Our group of followers, our beach family is just growing every day. A couple people here, a couple people there. Continually growing, just awesome. Those of you that send the stars during my live feeds, thank you so much. Those of you that are monthly, regular monthly supporters of my Southwest Florida television page, thank you for doing that. Thank you so much. And of course, those of you that send a little additional thank you, a little tip, whatever you want to call it, a contribution to my PayPal account, I really appreciate that. That is huge. That is huge.
that is the extra money that keeps me going every month and I really appreciate it. So if you're feeling a little generous today and you want to send something, look for a, that link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And remember, the beach itself is the background for our morning get-togethers. It's not all about the beach. It's about everybody getting together in the morning and communicating with each other and hopefully, hopefully making new friends. There has been some wonderful, wonderful friendships made during these live feeds. Some great things have come out of these live feeds, great things. We're just, we're a family. We're a family and we're here to support each other through the ups and downs. Well, thanks for watching this morning. Please tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Invite your friends to join our family. Please invite your friends to join our family. Invite them to take in the views with us in the mornings. What a gorgeous, it's just been a gorgeous morning this morning. Didn't get to see any dolphins or new turtle nests, but it has been absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We got to meet two mermaids this morning. That is so cool. I'm gonna go over there and do have another little conversation with them and share that video later. So be on the lookout for that. Hopefully they're out there with their, mer still have their mermaid tails on. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, how are you doing? Hey, good morning. Well, tally-ho everyone, tally-ho. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.